I discover I'm a sedulous person, which means I carefully attend to things. I'm a detailed person, so I can also call myself a pedantic person. I attend to things the way it ought to be. I maintain diligence in my, in my disposition of different things. Uh, but quite unfortunate, I found a lot of people around me as flakers. So if you want to know what flakers is all about, what is a flaker? A flaker is a person who cannot trust to remember things or do what they promise, or someone who behaves in a very strange way. So when you look around you, ask yourself this question. When you look inward, ask yourself this question. When you look within your circles, your family, ask yourself this question. Who are you? Are you a sedulous person or just a flaker? Or are the people that you gather around you also flakers like you? So what do I mean? I mean, when we talk about religion, I'm going to be talking a little bit about religion this uh, today. Uh, I remember a few days ago or two weeks ago, I did a comprehensive uh, uh, video analyzing why religion is fake and uh, you know uh, fortunately a lot of people have been indulged into this thing for quite some ages and it's very difficult for someone to uproot all those uh, shenanigans that have been planted in them all those uh, charade they've indulged them into uh, you will discover that religion turns you to a liar Example of you being a liar is pay attention. Ask anybody around you who is a religious person that who are you? They will tell you we are human. They only hear that is because religion, what religion told them, and what the school where they went to, all the things, all the people in their community, what they were being told is they are human being. So you call yourself a human being today, not just because you know you are a human being, it's because you were you heard people talking about our kind, our species, and as human. In fact, nobody knows anything until they come to this world. Even if you have an embedded embedded potential in you, it is the world that will help you bring that embedded potential out. Sometimes they might help you douse it and kill it there, that you will not even know you have talent. Some people have died today with their talent. That's why the white people say the greatest minds is feet, six feet below the grave, which means a lot of people have died with so many talents that could have helped the world. But some of us uh, have not really reached our full potential. But in the little way we can, we try to probably make a little bit of difference in our community, in our society, among our families, and change different perspectives, change different narrations that are wrong change all those things that they consider the norms and alight it that they are not actually the norms. They are being rebranded to us as the norm, whereas they are not. So, for instance, like I was saying earlier, ask any religious person, who are you? How did you come to this world? They will easily and quickly tell you that God created them. And you will laugh at that lies. God created you. Even to the people who are grown up now, who are married, who have given birth to children, they will still tell you God created them. And even if you ask, how did your children came to this world? They will still tell you God created them. Whereas the truth is just the biological aspect of life, that our parents mate with each other, a female and a male uh, gender or gene mate together and form another human being. At least that's what we know today as how we were being bet. No other things. This God created us was an uh, illusion that was introduced to us from one scripture or from scriptures. According to the Christian and the Judaism, Christian and Islam uh, scriptures, we don't know. No, and We've not seen people who God created and they jumped from the sky and landed on this earth. What we know today is that every human being that have ever existed have always been bet. So the question will now goes back to what we all don't know. The, the religious people want to argue that, okay, how did the first man came to be? But the question, the answer is that nobody knows. 
But what we know now is what we can explain, that a male mate with a female and we were bet. Whether uh, uh, the creationists, who are, who are the religious people, are the one who are right uh, about that God created us. I don't know. When I created the first human, we don't know. Whether it is the evolutionist who believe that, okay, being bad theory just form. I remember one movie that I watched uh, that uh, some aliens said to us when they invaded, invaded, invaded the earth, they said that we are evolutionary mistake. Whether it was true, maybe true evolution is what the first man and, and the evolving of so many other organisms packed together. I don't know how it comes to be, how human beings are formed. But what we know today is that if any human being is to come to this earth, a male has to mate with a female. Or the male semen or the male seed has to be used to fertilize the female egg for a child to be formed and for it to be born into this world, or for it to be produced into this world. But religion will make you a liar. Ask yourself, your mother, you've seen your mother, you've seen your father, and you know they both met together before you were formed uh, from being a blood to fetus and to, to whatever thing, and then before you became a full-grown child and you were pushed out of the vagina or you were sliced out from your mother's uh, womb, you know your mother formed you in her womb and she gave birth to you. And yet you are lying that God created you. See the lies. Simple answer. That is obvious, but we chose to still remain in the lies that we all cannot explain how we were created. There are so many wrong in religion. One of it is this. I remember I was discussing this with my wife a few days ago. It was not yesterday. That it was stated that on the fourth day, God created the sun. So the question is, if God created the sun on the fourth day, how the hell had four, uh, four days passed? I know uh, uh, if you're looking at the picture here, I know a lot of people will not be able to decipher this. But let me tell you one thing. For you to be able to count days, you have to understand the way the planet works. Our time only works with one, uh, one factor. The sun, the head, you've run the sun in 350, uh, 365 one quarter days in a year. 365 one quarter day in a year. Which means that that is why we have a leap year every four, four years in February. If you are looking for reasons why we have February 29 every for four years, it's because the one quarter of each year that is left from the 365 is being added together on the fourth year and it gives February 29. You can research this. This is not essay. I'm telling you geography, you know, for first hand. 365 one quarter days in every year. The quarter, quarter, quarter in four places making one day. That's why every every four, four years, we have February 29, every leap year. That's what makes the leap year. And in 24 hours, our planet evolved around the sun in 24 hours. That's why if you check the characteristics of one day, you discover that it's not quite different from the other day. Sure you understand? Which means that the sun is just in a place that is providing light to our solar system. And the earth evolves around the sun in 24 hours. Where, whenever our the area which we are now is turned to the sun, that's when we get sunlight. If it evolves around a way which is directly opposite to the sun, that's when we are in darkness because the actual universe is dark. So if through that, through that process, of the sun being the sun in existence, human being can count a day. So the four, how did the Bible now counted the first day, the second day, the third day, when the sun has not been in existence? So which measures through, you know, which measure does the God, so-called God, use in counting the days? That he said the first day he did this, second day he did this, third day he did this, the fourth day. So if it is the fourth day, how did the fourth day pass? Without the sun, because without the sun, there is no way you can count 24 hours. 
the sun is what enables you to count 24 hours. See the shenanigans. Logical people cannot question that. That Okay, if God said he created the sun the fourth day, so how did he know one day has passed, two days has passed, three days has passed, if the sun has not even been in existence? Because for you to count one day, there must be the sun. Had it been the, the, the people who wrote this thing were smart enough to say they first created the sun and one day passes, then they now started creating other things. They would have made sense. But, you know, when you are building a lie, there is no way you will not leave room for errors. Those are the errors in scripture. So when people come to you and tell you that they know the existential creator of the universe and heaven, and I just tell them to shut up. They don't know nothing. Then number two, let me look into something else. Number two, I, I stumbled upon this too, where uh, this, so if, number one, we were told in Genesis, I think that was uh, chapter six or so, uh, sorry, verse uh, chapter one, verse six, that when they were talking about uh, when human beings were created, they said, he did not need a woman to create man. He did not need a woman to create Adam, which means Adam was formed. So when they said the first Adam came, he sinned against God, they now had to bring the second Adam in place of Jesus. Well, Jesus, there is no name called Jesus. Let nobody fool you. That even if, if religion is even true, not to talk of it's not true. But let's assume for a second that it's true. If anybody will bear that name, there is no one that will bear Jesus 2,000 years ago in the Mediterranean section of this world. The Arab people cannot be bearing English name. It's not possible. The possible name that people have came up with is Yahushua Amishiak. Let's even say that character exists. Nonetheless, it can be proven with all in our ramification that that character is just fiction character that did not even exist in the first place. But let's not go there today. Let's assume that the name Jesus is even true. So when you need you mold Adam from the soil, from the dust, and you bred the breath of life into, according to how it was written. Why didn't you do the same thing for Jesus? Why do you need a woman? You did not need a woman to create Adam, but you need a woman to create Jesus. All those logical things should provoke your thoughts, should provoke you asking the right question from whoever is preaching this rubbish to you as religion. Sure you understand. So when you there are so many things in religious circles, you know, in religious setting that will make you Okay, take for instance, recently, I know Nigerians are so religious in nature, which I found to be stupid anyway. Prior to the election they had, that was held last year, in uh, 2023, the presidential election to be precise, one of your so-called pastors that his congregation is always, the church, his congregation is always filled. I mean, his church auditorium is always filled to the brim. He came up with this ideology. Oh, this prophecy, according to him, he said he saw the prophecy. Do you know how many prophecy, how many people, pastors or whatever, that have claimed to have seen one prophecy or whatever, and they've came out with shenanigans, and none of the things they said actually came to pass, and you guys will still follow them. In the video I posted last, Tundeba, Pastor Tundeba Kari, or so called pastor, well, let me just call him pastor because pastor is just a title, it doesn't really carry any weight. Because if the religion is fake, anybody called bishop, prophet, apostle, pastor, whatever, evangelist, they are all operating under falsehood. Under false. F-A-U-X. Under false. It's all false. It's all charade. It's all shenanigans. And you won't... Okay, don't worry, we'll get there. This pastor came and said, talked about different things that uh, Tenobu will be will back victory, will be sentenced to the, to live imprisonment or will be sentenced to prison on the day of his inauguration, he will be arrested, he will be do this, he will do that. Peter will be, will be the one to win the election, blah, 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 blah. So if truly God show you what is bound to happen, what changes it? That means God who had once claimed in the book that was written to you that he value his own word more than himself, which means there is nothing greater than God's word, not even God himself. So if that is the case, how come God will now speak? Human being will now upturn God. Is human being more powerful than your God? So if human being is more powerful than your God, why are we not serving human being instead of your dead God, instead of your powerless God, or your frail God, or your God that doesn't... 
That doesn't even exist in the first place. So there is the question. If human beings are more powerful to upturn the decision or the game plan or the written puzzle of God, how are we now serving a powerless God? So if truly there is a God and he's all-powerful, he's omnipotent, definitely this guy is not serving him. He's a liar. And if truly God actually, actually exists and he gave him the, prayer, the vision and he's speaking on behalf of God, giving prophecy that God has shown to him. That means God, God is not omnipotent in any way. He doesn't even carry that. That means the least human being is even more powerful than the God. So my own belief about God is that I don't think there is a God. I don't even think if something exists that created this whole cosmos, it should be called God. We don't know anything about what created the universe. If the universe came to existence, by the form of evolution, whether energy, we don't know exactly. And like I said in my last video, the moment a human being don't know the truth, they try to fill in the gap with their own insinuations, which is 100% mostly always wrong. So whether something that created the world is the God, number one, human beings do not even understand the creation fully, not to talk of the creator. Human being cannot fully explain why the ground is the ground, why the earth is suspended in the sky in the universe, or in the space in the universe, and we are not sinking 24-7. What energy help old horse? What created the universe? The universe is even bigger than what the Bible explains. The Bible doesn't even explain the universe. The Bible only, the, the creationists who wrote the story only understood the earth and maybe seven to heaven. There wasn't, there's nothing called heaven. All the stars that we used to see in the sky that we thought they are stars, only did we not know that they are not stars, that they are just part of other sun in other universe. Even our own sun here is called star. We didn't know until geography explained a lot of things to us. If you want to know about the universe, just go online, go and ask questions from Google. You'll be reading comprehensive write-up from the people who have done proper research about what the universe entails. So even if scientists come and say something must be behind all this creation, we don't know that thing. And if we cannot even understand the creation itself that was created, how the hell do you think you are going to understand a creator that vast, that highly significant because even our universe, oh sorry, our planet Earth, as big as this Earth is, is so insignificant in the universe that sometimes you might not even know that the planets like Earth exist. The universe is so big that no body, no human being can comprehend its complexity and its bigness. So when you look at all this thing, you want to, it is arrogance, it is sheer arrogance for you to say you know what created the universe. You can't. You that cannot even explain all the creation in this earth, in this planet, on this planet, you now want to explain to us what created something that is decillion, gazillion even more than the whole planet that we have or that we have ever seen. In our solar system alone, in our oh, sorry, in our Milky Way galaxy alone, there are many galaxies in the universe. The one that the human beings have discovered, in our Milky Way galaxy alone, we have more than 200 to 300 billions of stars. Our sun is just one out of the 200 to 300 billions of them. And then somebody is telling you that the sun was created in the fourth day. Anyway, no problem. And obviously, you know, like I said from the beginning, you were born and you were telling people that you were created. If that is not the highest of lies that has been rebranded as true to you, as the norm, I don't know what else is. You were born. You know your mother and your father who gave birth to you. And they asked you how you came into existence. Instead of you to just say, oh, my mother gave birth to me, maybe with the help of my father. But rather, you say, I was created. I was made in the image of God. A God you've not seen before. In your stupidity, you think God should look like human being. So other animals that were created, what do they look like? They to have their own gods. The plants too have their own gods. So the plants too should have their own gods. The animals have their own gods, as you human beings have their own gods. Abi, is that not what you're trying to tell us? All you religious by God, 
or people who call themselves religious reverence or pious, whatever you try to describe yourself as. So it is not just all about, you know, just making claims. It's about making the right claim. You know, look at the way the country is. Nigeria is so bastardized, has been destroyed in all ramification. Every good fabrics of this country have been destroyed. I'm even afraid the next 10, 20 years of in this country, only God knows. Or all, see, even me, I'm being indulged in the same God. I grew up as, I was born a Muslim. My Muslim name is Yusuf. I grew up as a Christian. The father tongue, I think I, from the story I heard, I was one years old when he stopped practicing Muslim and became a Christian. So I was raised in the church. I just know that my spirit have always, every ounce is, every fiber in me, According to science research, you said uh, a human being, a full-grown human being is more made more than, is made up of uh, more than 30 trillions of cells. Every cell in me opposes this thing that they, they indulge in. I've always been asking questions, so I didn't just become this out of a study. I'm in my 40s, but I can tell you categorically that I've always been asking this question right from onset, that what is this about religion? So if you want to be continually become a flaker, which means you don't even know what you're talking about, you don't even know what you're doing, you know. And like I described to you earlier, you see, for instance, look at what Fire she said here. Say, look at China, no church, no mosque, but in Nigeria, every house there is a church or mosque. And yet we are so finished. He was talking about the current state of the nation. So uh, was talking about the current state of the nation. It was so, so, you know, something else. It has become something else entirely. The current state of the nation is so bad. Nothing is working. In some years back, your pastor said that Naira will soon, will soon bounce back. As I, This morning, as I'm talking to you, Naira is 1,528 Naira to $1. As at the time, that liar told us that Naira will soon bounce back. Naira was still about seven hundred and something Naira. It has even double worse than what it was when he was talking about that trash. And you people will still go and feel yourself at every camp. At them. What people like us will keep telling you. See, let me tell you the truth. I said in my last video, maybe you didn't pay attention, or some of you were not privileged to watch the video. If you have been donating or saving all the money, whether 15 naira, 100 naira, and you that in, if you are living in the in the United States, if you have been saving all this one dollar, fifty cent, forty cent, thirty cent, two dollar, ten dollar, twenty dollar, fifty dollar, that you have been donating in someone else's business. You know, church is a business. It's just branded as the name as the house of God. It's the height, highest deception. In human history, where somebody will not offer you anything, will just be giving you hope, illusion of hope, and you'll be giving him your hard hand money. Some of you that hand this money, either you steal it or you earn it, or you work for it, or you bring task yourself. Like I told you the last time, even the Holy Field fought with Iron Mike Tyson. One thirty million. I mean, it was paid thirty million dollars, thirty million dollar for the fight. I think that was was it in two thousand and six or seven, if I quite remember correctly. And the guy gave Claire for his dollar thirty million dollar as task. And today, Claire for his dollar is still a multi millionaire in dollars. I doubt if even the only field can boast of the same fleet. There was a time he even declared bankruptcy. No money again. The people you are donating your money to, they continually become rich while you are poor. If you've been saving all this money, all this money, because to make a financial, they won't tell you in your church. Even your pastor where those, they are so black, they don't even have eyes. That they cannot even tell you that, oh, this innovation will come, or there's something called digital currency that will come. I'm the Lord is telling me, me to tell you people that you should buy Bitcoin. 
when Bitcoin was not even up to 12, 12 couple, as of 2010, July 28, when Bitcoin was monetized. When it became $10, $20, $50, 25 some people bought it. If you read about the story of a guy called a Bitcoin chief in Nigeria, I think according to his claim, he bought the first Bitcoin, then it was $35 at 2011 or 13, if I remember. Go online, just go and type. If you are in Nigeria, go and type Bitcoin, Nigerian Bitcoin shift. You will read about his story. Something that he bought $35 then, as of 2021, it was worth close to $69,000, $68,500 something dollars from $35. Things that could have given you financial breakthrough, they'll be giving you illusion. Like Hamal said, religion is the illusion of hope given to people, is the hope of the hopeless. Someone is not selling you anything, he's just talking, entertaining you. So that's why they have to gather some people to act as choir. They, those who are even doing free job and they think they are being told that they are working for God. They are you go to choir practice, they will buy clothes with their own money, spend their own money for transportation from whatever they are to one church. They will still even spend money on so many other things in the church. And they are not exception when it comes to donating their tithes and offering times, giving whatever. And the people that are receiving this thing are becoming richer. Why you have it's like you going out to struggle to earn money and coming to donate it to someone. Just because that person claimed that you know the person who created you and is in is is in is in connection with the person, like the one who claimed that Naira was soon bounced back, who was at the time telling trash that, talking trash that he, 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 there was a money he drank tea with the supreme owner of. If you look at this universe as big as it is, I'm not sure if any if there's something that created it. If human beings should say that thing, every human that human being will even vanish into thin hair. Like they never exist. The fear will turn you to dust. The fear of that thing. And if it is an energy, that means he's not reasoning like us. He only created things. Because that is what its function is all about. And if there is something behind that energy that is creating them, we don't know. Let nobody fool you. There is no harm being honest by saying, who created the earth? I don't know. I just found myself here. This is what I can explain based on what my brain has witnessed. The intel, the knowledge that I've gathered, garnered over the years. This is what I can explain. But they just want to prove that they know more than you. They want to lie to you. And they keep lying. I've not been going to church now for... My life is far better than most people in my area. I work from home. I'm okay. I'm not rich, like super rich, but I'm comfortable. I can take care of my needs. All my basic needs I've been taken care of. And I still have enough to invest for the future. But they will tell you this. They will tell you that things that are not feasible... You know, okay, take for instance, see this. Can you just question this? If God's lifespan is infinite, then what was there before his creation? Somebody now responded. His, his name is uh, Gregor Michels. He's, uh, he said he's educated as Catholic but born atheist and remains so. He's an atheist, born atheist, and educated as a Catholic person. And he said, wow, so God's lifespan is infinite. So, but he decided only 6,000 years ago to create something. So if God has been the people who claim God is infinite, has been living in time, no time bound moment or era, and is infinite, why was it that it was 6,000 years ago he decided to create this whole universe or this whole earth as we know it to be? That I, the inhabitant of inhabitant uh, inhabitant of human being, a place that harbor horse, human, plant, animal, and the other creation that we could find. Why, six thousand years ago? Because according to geologists, they said, or theologians, they said the era from Adam to like uh, uh, Christ was between three thousand to four thousand years, to the time of David or whatever. So. And uh, they have a way of splitting it. You can do your research. I'm not, I just don't even want to 
because I was a time I was a theologian like that. I was so vast. I've read the Bible cover to cover, so I know it's all fake. So I can both fully tell you a lot of things from the Bible, but when you now begin to question it, you will discover that you are a fool to have even believed in that thing in the first place. So they said it was 4,000 years from Adam to like the time of David or whatever, and then 2,000 years from that time of Christ till now. So it makes everything like 6,000, 6,000 plus. So what was it doing before that 6,000 plus? So they said that he even created the sun the fourth day, when days are not supposed to have been, when time has, has not supposed to have existed, because without the sun, time cannot exist. So without the sun, you can research it. There is no time without the sun. Sunlight gave us the privilege to measure things that we call time today, to measure space in what we call time today. But there was no sun, but time existed to the extent that they, was meant, they were counting one day, second day, third day, and the fourth day was what causes time to exist to. Anyway. So why, how long was, uh, how long was he infinitely living before 6,000 years? That's a damn too long time to be thumb twiddling. Oh yeah, he's outside space, uh, time and space, right? So there is no lifespan. Lifespan assumes time. So now I'm really confused what you guys believe. For all I know, your God is a potted plant stuck in a frozen time, stroke space continuum. Do I need to contact Dr. Wu to fix this? You guys haven't thought this through very well, have you? You haven't. You just believe in whatever thing they tell you. You don't question. A timeless guy, guy just decided to create something 6,000 years ago. Why 6,000 years ago? How? Why? There are so many fossils, so many discoveries on Earth today that science has made us believe that according to to the machines and the research that they use in calculating the time they will have been in existence. Some have existed billions of years, even before we came. And some people are telling you that it's just 6,000 years ago, all this thing that we see was created. We don't hear. Let me tell you this today. The only thing that can be destroyed in life is things that are not created by human beings. Religion was instituted by human beings, can be destroyed. In fact, in a few years' time, I'm not sure there will be anything religious again because the generation that is coming is going to kill you with questions. You're going to question every number. And if God is an omnipotent, he's not so, we are not supposed to be able to question it. Like this, let me tell you something. The things that even human beings did not create, they are destroying it. Despite the fact that we cannot question the air we breathe in, the air we breathe in that makes us live continuously. Human beings still pollute the air with their chemicals, combustion, by using atomic radar to pollute the air and kill every human, every living thing in that habitat. American did it to Japan, Hiroshima and Nagasaki or whatever they call But the truth is just that things that we did not create, we, were, we are destroying. We destroy the animals or because we want to eat, we destroy the plants. We are so arrogant that we believe that everything was created for our purpose. We don't even know that this whole thing is a game, it's a pawn. Everybody is killing each other to survive. Animals sometimes kill human beings for food. Human beings kill animals, kill plants for food. Sometimes too, there are some plants that are killing insects, insect killing plants. Everybody is just eating each other. It's like the survival of the fittest. That's the, that's the realm we are living here on earth. Human being destroying other people's business so that their own can triumph. A woman snatching another woman's husband, a man snatching another woman's wife. You know, children killing each other just because they want to be the only one to, to inherit whatever their father has prepared or have, have invested down for them. You know. <sighs> Survivor of the fittest. It is just you, I think you might be as smart so larger, to a large extent whereby we are creating a society whereby we can all live together in peace and harmony. Preaching love, peace and harmony and try to make sure that we are contented with whatever we have. 
but unfortunately we are destroying the world we are the destroyer so things that human beings institute themselves are, can be easily destroyed if religion was instituted by the creator of all things nobody will be able to touch it the father i even have the brain to even question it and see the loopholes from genesis 1 to revelation handle loopholes everywhere you want to con destroy the bible you only use the bible to destroy itself every lies that have been embedded in that book even the Quran is the same thing all lies it was cooked up by human beings you can use that same Korean to destroy Quran. Use the same Bible to destroy the Bible. It's all human concept. Institution or constitution that was written just to ensnare the hearts of people, to make them zombie, to make them redundant, to make them non thinking machine. People will just follow and believe, follow and believe. It is a shame that at this age and time, you know, we are still into this so so if you are a flicker like i said you continue to become a flicker and like i defined from the beginning a flicker is someone uh you cannot trust to remember someone who can't remember things or do what they promise or someone will behave in a strange way so church will tell you one thing they can everything they preach on the podium they don't practice even if religion is fake that fake could have helped us shape our life and guide our life but they, they don't practice take for instance ananias and sapphira were killed because they sold their own land and removed from the money and they lied to their so the so-called holy spirit people are selling churches church 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 land properties all around they are not dying so if it was written that something killed ananias and sapphira because they lied to the holy spirit what about the people who are lying at this time what about your so-called geo your daddy geo that said nera will soon bounce back against the dollar, whereas the Naira keep depreciating in value. Why didn't he slum and die? Why are you all lying? Why are you all under lies? Ordinarily, your parents give birth to you, you will lie that God created you. And when you dwell too much in lies, lies becomes the truth. And that's what religion has done to you all. Most of the money that you could have used to invest to do something beautiful, something big in your life, to prepare for the future ahead, you've donated to one pastor. Their children are living large. They are riding in Rolls Royce, traveling abroad. Our Nigerians now are now struggling to gather money to Jackpot, to travel abroad, to go and slave themselves just to probably find enemies. And they are all going, they are all going to church and mosque. And they are rushing to a country that doesn't believe in those shared and shenanigans or some country that don't even practice or practice very or the practice is so limited china produce most of the things we use in this world today and they are, they are not religious country anyway people like us will keep reminding you the same way your pastor will keep reminding you every weekend every weekday to be stupid people like me will stand up to keep reminding you that you need to come out of your stupidity and begin to face reality for what it is. And if any pastor wants to say, I lie, let them prove the existence of God. How? Firstly, ask them, why did Ananias and Sapphira die? Because they sold their own land, though. No, no, not church land. So if they died for selling their land and lying, why are people who are sleeping with each other in the church, immorality in the church, why are they not being killed? I once asked that question from... Uh, from my, I asked my friends some of those questions, and I was informed that that time, Ananias and Sapphira were not under grace. I lied. I, I laughed because they did not know that it was that time that grace even is so fresh, according to the write up of the scripture. Because Christ just died then, I mean, he just ascended to heaven then, and the Holy Spirit even descended on every one of them. The ones that did not even receive the Holy Spirit now are not dying. The ones that now received the oh maybe because they received the Holy Spirit, that's why they died then. So now the ones that did not receive it now they can lie to you, lie up their hearts, and nothing will happen. I think I get it now. Until I see you next time, stay cool. I'm trying to be sedulous like me. Don't be a flicker. Take care.